let's see. Now, I've never liked controlling this this boat. It's very clunky trying to row this thing down the river. And there's going to be a mini game involved in this boat that's just not fun at all. Must be the part timer. Huh? I have indeed. Okay. Okay, halfway open. She is dropping rupees for us, but I'm probably going to miss most of them. She tends to bribe people whatever's lying around. So stingy, really. Well, I'm perfectly fine with another bomb bag. Well, there she goes. Alright, I guess I might as well get this minigame out of the way. I was going to save this for last, because it's easily one of my least favorite minigames in the whole game. But, I guess I can just get it out of the way. Actually, no, I won't do it just yet. Instead, let's head to the fishing hole. Because this is where Isa's sister is. Hey. 
Lady. Hi. No, I haven't. Hello there, Henna. <laughs> Let's take a look around the shop real quick. Seventeen-inch high roll bass, huh? Yep, that is indeed her sister. Twenty-eight-inch Hylian pike. I remember this guy. That's their older brother, Koro. He only caught fish by using a sinking lure. Now this guy might recognize if you played Ocarina of Time. That's one of Hyrule's legendary master fishermen. Look, he's got a Hylian loach, doesn't he? He may be one of my ancestors. named Purdy. Hmm. She also has a, a little mini game of her own over here. Well, not this. <laughs> okay. It's roll goal. Give it a try. Use a control stick to roll the glass ball along the path all the way to the goal within the time limit without dropping the ball. Alright, let's give this a try real quick. Calm down there. beat this though. I always want to try and beat this at least once. there at the end. So I did it. Alright, now let's talk to her for real.
Yep, let's do it. Okay. Now, I'm not actually gonna do any fishing here. Well, I am, but not with her. Now, what I'm gonna do is... See that heart piece on the rock over there? Let's catch it. Well, hopefully catch it anyway. No, I don't want to actually fish. Let's get a little bit closer. Gotcha! Nice! <laughs> Whose heart did you catch, you big sweetheart? Okay, I'm done fishing. Yep, I'm done. But we're not quite done here yet. Because we can do our own fishing off to the side here. But it's not a fish I'm after. Let's see if I can catch it, though. Don't litter. Do not toss empty bottles or cans here. The fish are crying. Keep the fishing hole clean. Now that's a clue if I ever heard one. Aha, that's what I wanted. You caught an empty bottle. Not only can you use this, but it'll clean up the waterway in the process. Two birds, one stone. Okay, so we have our third empty bottle. Not bad at all. Okay, so those were the two main things I wanted from the fishing hole. The heart piece and the empty bottle. And now I can leave. There's one more thing on my checklist to do before I stop recording. And that's the boat minigame. Alright, let's get this over with. Hi, Isa. Yeah, I'll rent one. So the whole goal of this is that we have to break jars along the way. But every time you hit a wall or an object, you lose points. Like right there, I, if I had any points, I would have lost them. So each time you hit the wall, that's one point lost. 
those are our targets there. It's not just about hitting the targets in this in this mini game. It's about avoiding hitting the wall as well. So you don't want to focus on one without focusing on the others as well, or at least without being cautious. Is what I should say. this part that's gonna suck. Oh, wait, no, it's not this part. I know it's coming up when we go, like, down a waterfall. It, oh, it always throws off my direction. Usually when I hit a wall. There, I lost two points. I did it! Hooray! And I did it the first try! That's amazing to me, because I'm usually really terrible at this minigame. Whew! Oh, I'm glad I did that. Giant bomb bags. You can hold twice as many bombs as before. The exact number they can hold depends on the kind of bomb. Thank you. So that was definitely worth my time to do. I think the main thing you have to do during that mini game is just take your time. You don't want to rush it by like just pushing forward on the control stick. Okay, so we can now hold 60 regular bombs, and I think 30 aqua bombs. Alright, I just thought of one more thing I can do before I stop. Let's go ahead and warp to Hyrule Castle Town. Pay Agatha a visit real quick. Oh, hi, postman. It's a letter from Malobart. Hmm. 
Heroes come together. Malomart, the hero of discounts, is finally open in Castletown. You've got all you need for that upcoming trip, and we offer it at unbelievable prices. Grand opening special. Magic armor limit one. Act fast, heroes. Now that is something I definitely want to buy, the magic armor. But I think I'm going to need 600 rupees to do it. So let's go ahead and get 100 from Agatha first. Okay, now let's see if I can go buy that magic armor at Malomart now. Malo's shop should be around this, around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Now, this used to be a really expensive shop, and if you even tried to enter it before Malo bought it out, they'd have ask you to like shine your shoes before coming in, and it costs like ten rupees. And even then, once you go inside, you can't afford anything, since everything's like ten thousand rupees or something ridiculous. Got some interesting music here. I don't think I've ever seen people this happy to shop. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the shopkeeper. Okay, let's see what you... Did you just moonwalk over there? <laughs> okay, 5 rupees for arrows, 50 for blue... for a blue potion. Magic armor. This is quite a bargain when you think of how valuable your life is. What's a few rupees to stay alive? I'll take it! You bought it! You are smart. You bought it at Malomart. Wear it and your rupees will become magical. The armor will protect you, so if you, if you get hit, you lose rupees, not health. If you run out of rupees, the armor will go dormant and your movement will become impaired. I love that he moonwalks over there. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna buy from, from there for now. But as it, as it said, it when you wear the magic armor, it starts consuming your rupees in order to use it. And then when you take damage from an enemy, you lose rupees instead of hearts. Then once it's out of power, well, it's useless. It's essentially like wearing the iron boots if you have no rupees. Okay, uh, let's give Agatha the rest of the box that I currently have.
Alright, Agatha. I got yet more bugs for you. I think once you give her all of the golden bugs in the game, she actually gives you the largest wallet. So there's only four more golden bugs left to collect in the game. Now, two of them, well, in fact, the f rest of the four golden bugs we can't reach at the moment. Two of them we, w we will be able to fairly soon, and then the last two we won't be able to get until later on. But we almost got them all. Alright, so I think that would probably be a good stopping point. Got quite a bit done there. At least, like, side quest stuff-wise. Alright, guys, so that's gonna be it for now. Next time, we'll be continuing continuing along with the main plot of Twilight Princess. See you then, guys.